today we will check out the Black Star 100 Series 1 6L6. Recently I got a new amplifier, it's uh, this one, the Black Star uh, 100 series. It's a full tube amplifier equipped with 6L6 uh, yeah, power amp tubes. And uh, yeah, it has, um, well, they say maybe four channels, but uh, it has only two, uh, two uh, equalization controls here. And uh, yeah, today I would like to show you what this thing can do. In my opinion, it's a very good amp. And uh, yeah, it has here on the upper section, um, it has a uh, clean channel, which sounds like this. By the way, I'm playing my Schecter Banshee 6 FR made in Korea uh, with uh, EMG uh, 8185, I think. And uh, yeah, great guitar. Check out my video about this guitar. And uh, in every um, of the four uh, channels, you have a gain and uh, volume control. But um, there are always two channels which share the bass, middle and treble uh, control and also the ISF, the infinite shape function, which is changing the uh, characteristic of the amp a little bit. So currently I'm in the clean channel and uh, have the uh, gain at 12 o'clock, volume at 12 o'clock and there is a bright and warm switch. Uh, now I've engaged this uh, switch or it's a well, it's a button, not a switch. Disengage it. Maybe if you disengage it, it's a warmer sound. And uh, yeah. Let's see what the uh, equalization controls can do. Bass. Are they active? No. Okay, I set everything at 12 o'clock now. It sounds like this. And bass is this. You crank the treble, it sounds a little bit like a fender, I think. And also you have the ISF control, which is now at uh, 2 o'clock, set it at 12 o'clock. to the left. And to the right. If you set it to the right, uh, in my opinion, it sounds more like a Vox amp and uh, on the left side it's more like a Fender. So uh, yeah, I like it in the clean channel to be on the fender side, on the left side. And 
Yeah, let's go to the second channel, which is called the Crunch Channel. And the Crunch Channel doesn't have a bright warm switch, but it has a Super Crunch uh, button. So, yeah. Now it's disengaged. What it does is it adds more gain, but uh, disengaged uh, with everything at 12 o'clock. Sounds like that. <laughs> And uh, yeah, let's turn the ISF to the left side. So let's assume to keep it on the left side because it's also working for the clean channel and I like, as I said, I like the clean channel and the fender, uh, fenderish. Uh, direction. Super crunch engaged. Really uh, like a little bit of a uh, well martialish uh, crunch, but a little bit uh, well uh, not that fizzy like a Marshall and not also tighter in the bass. And uh, the gain is still at 12 o'clock, but I can raise it to 3 o'clock now. It has a lot of gain, as you can hear, but it doesn't get flobby. As you can see, I don't boost it, I'm going directly to the amp. And uh, yeah, sounds kick ass in my opinion. Really, nothing um, which I would change, at least not at this volume. By the way, uh, in the master section, you have a resonance and a presence control, which are now at, at 12 o'clock. And also, you have a, uh, of course, a master volume control, which is now really low at 8 o'clock. And the DPR, which is a, uh, you can reduce the power, the overall power from 10 watt up to 100 watt. And now I'm currently uh, setting it at 11 o'clock. So it's, yeah, bedroom level. So, uh, yeah, as you could hear, we already have high gain. <laughs> We already have high gain, but we're still in the second channel. So let's go to the gain channels, and they call OD1 and OD2. OD1 channel with gain at 12 o'clock. Uh, let's set everything else to noon. Also the ISF. <laughs> As you can imagine, this channel has also more gain if you set it to 3 o'clock. With the uh, ISF, it's now 12 o'clock, set it to the left. I think, especially with high gain sounds, I like it more on the uh, on the uh, right side. A little bit scooped, but uh, not too much. So set it to two o'clock. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's
let's raise the mids a little bit. As you can hear, it's dead tight. Check out how dynamic this amp is. I think it's dynamic. Now I rolled back the volume a little bit. By the way, I'm playing the Series 1 uh, 4x12, I think it's called Series 1 4x12, uh, with Celestion 30 speakers, whatever that is. They don't say Vintage 30, they just say Celest Celestion 30. And oh uh, yeah, mic with an SM57, right into my uh, RME UCX interface. That is the sound you're hearing, a little bit uh, coming through this mic course yeah so uh, let's go to the final channel the OD2 so OD1 OD2 So I think the OD1 and OD2, they sound similar and also they have a similar amount of gain. I don't know, I will set gain to 12 o'clock and then switch between the two channels. This is OD2. And in my opinion, it's very, very good if uh, the channels have the same, uh, well, same characteristics because uh, you want your amp, or at least I will want an amp which has, uh, well, the same sound, just different amounts of gain in each uh, channel. Clean channel is a little bit different, but uh, with the other channels, I like it if, they have, if you have three channels with different uh, gain settings. <laughs> But otherwise, they should sound similar, or at least, or the same. So let's, uh, yeah, switch between the crunch and OD1 and OD2. And finally, let's try out the resonance of presence in the OD2 channel. The so resonance cranked, presence died way back. Presence cranked. Ah! And, uh, yeah, as I said, I'm playing now at bedroom volume, but I think uh, if you crank the amp, then usually the uh, the highs get a little bit harsh, so I would dial back the presence. 
And uh, other than that, it sounds really uh, well balanced to me. <laughs> So yeah, it's a great amp, it's also MIDI switchable, it has an effects loop and uh, yeah, lots of bells and whistles, but everything's working, really. And uh, in my opinion, they did a uh, yeah, phenomenal job with this amp. I don't know why it's discontinued or why it's not that popular among guitar players, but uh, yeah. There's another version, I think, with the uh, EL34s, which maybe I can get in the future. And uh, yeah, for me, it's a great amp. It's definitely uh, competitive to the angle amps and also the PVs. So it sounds a little bit more cultivated, if you, if you will call it like that, than the Marshall. It's not that floppy or harsh. And uh, yeah, very flexible. And uh, thank you for watching, subscribe to my channel, see you soon, bye.